This video is a day late, I know, but I had to tear apart my office to try to find uh, this prop. And, you know, this is going to be the fourth video in this series to talk about all star stuff that I have. You know, I've had statues on here, pictures from the local Comic Con that I have here, the printed canvas that I got from the PropsWorks auction. Um, but this is the actual first prop. Now, I don't have anything extraordinary like, you know, Viper suits or you know, pens, um, even cubits. Um, nothing like that. Just a couple things that I wanted to get because it was stupid how expensive during the auction to get anything that you really want, like the, the Viper suits. I mean, they always went for thousands of dollars. <clears throat> so, uh, PropWorks ran the auction. Uh, this was maybe, I don't know, six months to a year after the show ended. Uh, I just started tuning in. They had a big online catalog and everything and estimated prices and things like that. So I knew it was going to be crazy, but I just wanted to get something. And this was the first thing that I got. And it's relevant to the day that Adama had to pack up his belongings and was getting ready to transfer his flag over to the Rebel Base Star because Galactica was falling apart. And this is not a hero prop. This is actually a uh, duplicate or leftovers uh, from the uh, production department as they were decorating. Um, so I have opened this for, uh, to see what it was. Um, the next next one I have not. And you get a, a certificate of authenticity here uh, from PropWorks and their little, you know, holographic badge. Uh, just to make sure it is authentic and these are the galactic transfer labels the moving labels that were on the boxes uh, for Adama's quarters now again these are just printed pieces of paper but at least I, I, I got something I wanted something this was the first thing I got from the auction and of course that's what it looks like there's just pieces of paper I mean really that's what it is let's not show that because it's got personal information on it but really, that's, this is all that it is. It's just some printed sheets of paper for when Adama was moving. I mean, that's really all it is. Yeah, I know. I, I paid money for printed pieces of paper that weren't even used on the show. These were backups. If it's called our hero or if it's designated hero, that means it was actually used in the show. But these were not, these were just duplicates. And this was the cheapest thing that I could buy that I didn't wanna, you know, go crazy for. Um, because at the time, let's see, when did I actually buy this? This came, so 3-27-2009. We had just gone through a really terrible recession and everything, and I didn't have a whole lot of disposable income at the time. So, I wanted something. This was guaranteed me that I got something from the auction, even though it wasn't used on the show, but they are authentic. They have little badges on them showing that they are, um, but they were not screen used. And to go along with those labels that I got, I wanted to find something else. And they actually had moving boxes that were in the Admiral's office. And that's what this is. And I have never opened this or even tried to box it. Uh, this came in a thin uh, cardboard box and I left the plastic on there. I've never taken this out, but we're gonna do that today. So you can see, just flipping it over, one side had the uh, certificate of authenticity, and this, another label, of course. But the difference with that is, is that this is actually considered a hero prop, meaning that this was on screen. Now, of course, the moving box is gonna be extremely difficult to identify what that is in the Admiral's office. I would like to try to. I did with the next prop that I'll show on the next video very easy to identify that one but this one's a box and they had a lot of boxes in his office and those are boxes put together and there's nothing special about them they're just plain cardboard boxes with two of the labels and these are hero boxes they were actually in the show and 
trying to, again, trying to identify these on the show, it's probably near impossible to do because there was a lot of boxes and it, you know, it's just kind of silly to waste some time on that. Now we can actually take a look at the certificate and what else is in this uh, envelope with the boxes. Um, again, it comes with a certificate of authenticity from PropWorks. I think they're actually a defunct uh, auction company now. I did check somewhat recently, uh, but you can see it has the little hologram on there and signatures of PropsWorks and the uh, production VP at NBC. Um, but they do give a brief description. Um, yeah, I didn't know it was two boxes in there. So that's, that's actually, even though it says boxes, I know, but I was not expecting to, I don't know why I thought I would, but, um, it's pretty cool to see a description and everything. And you know, it's, it's, it's really neat. The, uh, quality and of course the cut off edges, uh, cut it in corners, <laughs> The little joke they had going through the whole show even on the labels here um but yeah i that's 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 moving day for the admiral and the uh two props that i have and just looking at the uh receipt here yeah i paid way too much for this but um i can say that i actually have something from the show that was on the show and yeah they're movie boxes and i think it'd be pretty easy to uh to display these uh just stick it in the corner and be like yep uh, got some of the Admiral's moving boxes over there. I think it's kind of neat. The next video, which is coming out Tuesday, I believe. I'm going to put a little bit of the video from uh, the episode of Galactica for the prop that I have. And it is the last thing in this series for Battlestar Galactica and the items I have. And it is the one thing that I thought meant the most to me from the auction. It didn't go for a high value or anything, but when you see it, I think you'll understand. It was a big moment in the show, uh, especially in the last two episodes. Um, so expect that Tuesday. I hope you're enjoying this. Leave a comment. Hit me up on any of the social medias. You know where to find me. And tune in to the Geek Out Podcast that we should be recording Sunday. This is Saturday that I'm recording this, so tomorrow.